Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. We start with chapstick here, but we're not. We're going to reapply what we put on earlier today. This is the NARS Lip Balm in Laguna. Today is still February 12th. You'll see when this is uploaded that it is no longer February 12th. I'm home from the funeral and the service and spending time with family. And I'm coming down off my Mountain Dew High. And so I'm like, I'm going to just do this video. And there will be an extension to it, and I'll do a try on if there's stuff in here to try on. As you can see from the title, what we're doing. But the crazy troll nation, the crazy is because we are sometimes, sometimes I forget my intro like I just did and just jump right into the video. Welcome. <laughs> and the troll, because one, there is no such thing. Two, the beauty community can say what they want. You need to wear this, you need to use this tool, this item, do it just like this change your features, blah, 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 blah. And so troll making fun of that, just saying, I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear and I'm gonna rock it with confidence. And that's what I want all of you to understand is just self-acceptance, self-love, embrace your features, enhance them if you want to. We love playing in face paint, but know that it is not required and know it's not necessary and know you do not have to feel obligated to fit yourself and your style into someone else's expectations. That's the basic concept of the crazy troll nation, excuse me. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you become a part of the nation and rock and roll on this troll train with me by subscribing, liking my videos, commenting, and all of that good free stuff, and sharing the videos. And I'm entertaining, and sometimes I do curse on my channel, so I want you to be aware of that. And I'll show you what else we do here on this channel. So this video, as you can tell by the title, is Friendmas in February collab day 20. No, it uploads the 20 something of February. I don't even know what number day this is, but it's the gift exchange <laughs> Friendmas in February. I haven't opened the box yet. It, it came in the mail today and I thought this is perfect timing coming back from a service, a funeral and all of that and having a package here. And so... I wasn't going to do this video today and I thought, you know what, while I'm still a little bit wired on Mountain Dew before I crash, let me just open it and see and hopefully go quick enough where I can just add on the try on part another day when I don't have face paint on. And so I just opened it. Thank you, Megan. I'm excited. I don't know what it is. Initially, we had agreed to send each other a list of both high end and low end stuff so that we can pick and choose and surprise each other with whatever we purchase from on the list. And Megan's birthday is this month, the 28th. And so she decided that she wanted me to surprise her. And I'm like, what? So I was asking her questions like, what's your favorite color story? Do you prefer warm tones, cool tones? What's your aesthetic? Blah, blah, blah. And asking her different questions and just piece together like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> to send to her hoping that she will like at least most of it and also she has sensitive skin like I do and I'm hard to shop for because of my sensitive skin and I'm also sensitive to fragrance and so for me I'm like yo just give me a gift card and so anyway I sent her a list of some stuff and then she kept asking me more and more questions and I'm just like I sent you a list <laughs> so I ended up sending her a second list because she was still asking me different questions and so I have no idea what's in here is what I'm saying. And so I'm taking off the tissue paper, throw that there, there's a card. I have my contacts in, which help me see distance. And so I do have my reading glasses here. And I'm not gonna read all of the card. Oh, but the front. Look at that. Being a badass is hard work, but someone's gotta do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> And then, oh, she writes really neat. She wrote all of that. Oh my gosh. And I write like a two-year-old. So I will. <laughs> Love you too, Megan. Thank you. I'm going to read this in its totality later. Where did that big word come from? Totality. Um, <laughs> all right. So we're just digging in. First thing here. I'm going to have a lot to clean up after I wake up from crashing from Mountain Dew. Fuzzy. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, oh, a lip. Uh, I think it's a lip thing. Girl, you know I'm a chapstick hoe. It costs a lot of money to look this cheap. 
I think it's a lip product. I should have took my contacts out before I started doing this so that I could read more easily. Your boots may be made for walking, but mine are in case I need to kick your ass. Girl, you know me well. We haven't known each other long, but she knows me well. Yeah, yeah, I will kick some ass. And a nice pair of cutie socks. I'm a delicate fucking flower. Oh, she knows me. Yes, she knows me. <laughs> Those are going to be my indoor lounging socks. All right. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, it doesn't say. I think these may be bath salts. And I'm not a bath person, but I think that's what it is in here because it looks like bath salts right and i did tell her i received a box today and she texted me back saying let her know if i have any questions but i do believe that these are bath salts i don't smell anything and it is a jar i mean well obviously it's a jar <laughs> troll we can see it's a jar okay we're not silly we're not stupid and we can see it has a lid so it's i'm not going to open it right now because i just want to get through this in case there is stuff to try on for me to add on to this video so it does have a lid on it and but i'm pretty sure it's bath salts okay this is squishy <laughs> and i do use these neutrogena makeup remover cleansing wipes fragrant free i do use these the, the way i use these is i'll take one out and i'll put my cellar water on it and then wring out the excess micellar water and that's how I remove my eye makeup and doing it that way I don't have to tug and pull my eyelids and I wrap my finger around the cloth and do my eyelashes and get the mascara off and also from off my lower lash line so that's how I get off my eye makeup and then you know whatever clean area on the cloth once I do both eyes then I'll just do my whole face but then I wash my face and if I'm at the sink I will wash my face twice as a double cleanse and if I'm about to take a shower I use these with the micellar water, take off eye makeup, wash my face at the sink, and then wash it again in the shower. So thank you very much. Jingle, jingle, jingle. All right, let's see what this is. So those will definitely... Oh, nude sticks. We had talked about these because someone uh, recommended these. And I'm like, oh. And I was going to buy them, and I said no, because this was one of, the sec one of the items on the second list that I sent to Megan. So I'm like, I'm not going to get them just in case she gets them. And these can be used as eye bases or eyeshadow. So instead of like the Natasha Denona working set or the MAC Paint Pot. And so I was interested to try these. It was Pam Marie and I will link her channel below, both her Instagram and her YouTube channel. She was the one that suggested these. And I was like, oh. And so there's Shady Algae, which is black. Hot stone, which looks to be a copper, and aubergine, which I guess is an aubergine color. So these are the colors of the three crayons and the tin, and it comes with a sharpener. So I'm excited to try these, and sorry for the clank. And these are what the three different shades look like. So the copper, the black, and the aubergine. I am excited to try these. Because these would be, I think, a little easier than the work set or the MAC Paint Pot. Even though I am going to continue to use those because I do like them. But there is a learning curve. There's two more things in here and I'm kind of scared. Well, not scared, but kind of nervous to open them because I'm just like... Because <gasps> you know how you're hoping for something and you think it might be something? So just open it to see, right? Put this over here. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Pillow Talk Beautifying Eye Filter. On everyone's eyes, Pillow Talk, Push Up Lashes, Mascara, and Pillow Talk Eyeliner. I did, on one of the, the first list I sent her was stuff that I knew I liked because I am hard to shop for and I don't want to waste somebody's money. They get me something and I don't like it or I have a reaction to it and can't use it. And this was on the first list was the Charlotte Tilbury because I still have this little one I'm using. So now I have a full size one and the eyeliner, which I've, I don't think I've ever tried the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I hate feeling like I wasted someone's money. And she did put in here the gift receipts. And we decided to get stuff from Ulta and Sephora just in case, like, something didn't work and we had to exchange it. 
And this is Sephora Contour Blush. This I had years and years and years ago. And I remember really liking it. And recently, um, I was looking at someone's video, Fortune Out of Hope's video, and I will put her link below. Since When I talk about people, I link their channels. I think that's the only right thing to do. I'll link her Instagram and I'll link her YouTube channel below. She put a blush on, and I was like, that blush is nice. What is that? And she was like, that's a Sephora Spice Blush Palette. And I'm like, what? And I remember liking this back in the day. And so this was also <laughs> on the list for um, Megan as a possible for me. And this is what it looks like. And I think I'll appreciate it more now than I did before because before I was newer to makeup and I wasn't really mixing blushes or you know highlighters. And yeah, so this is like an intensifier to put on any of these shades. This one I might can use as a highlighter. And this probably is too, but that's way too bright. I would probably put that over probably this one and this for me would be a contour and this shade for me as a blush is really nice um and of course this on me would be a blush and so i'm excited to have this again because i do remember liking it but i only use like this shade and this one because i didn't know what to do with it because i was a, a whole lot newer to makeup and so this is exciting my next video an extension of this one i will do an eye look and we're gonna try out the new sticks as a base. We're gonna use the blush palette. And oh, right here. And we're gonna use Charlotte Tilbury, her eyeliner, because I still have the small one of her mascara. And I will definitely be putting on these socks when I get done this video, after I change out of my outdoor clothes. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna crash on the sofa because I'm already coming down off my Mountain Dew high and I can feel it because I have a headache. I drank probably 30 ounces of Mountain Dew today. <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna go. You will see me in a few seconds. New day, new shirt, my indoor shirt. Try on. This is Serious Lip Balm. Has a picture of Dolly Parton on it. And it says, it costs a lot of money to look this cheap and it has her initials i did use this yesterday i'm gonna put it on even holding it here the main ingredient is almond butter almond oil it's very strong and so and i had put it on like this it's very thick and so earlier today and the smell is is really pugnant to me because i do have sensitive sinuses and so i'm going to just use my finger and put it on that way so we're not starting with chapstick for this portion of the video um yes yeah, has a really really strong scent and looking at the reviews online people love it they're like oh it smells like almond biscuits it definitely smells like almond and even putting it on like that i could taste it too um so that th this is new <laughs> that's new for me it is very moisturizing though, I can say that. And because I put it on like this yesterday, it was a lot, it's very thick. And with the smell of it, the sense of it, I was just like, okay, oh, cause you know, my nose is right here. And it's, as I said, and I'm not gonna keep saying that, I'll say it one more time, the scent is very strong. And so I took a paper towel and wiped it off. And even doing that, that, like this will stay. <laughs> Because even wiping it off, like roughly with a paper towel, my lips still felt moisturized um, and I could still smell it. And uh, yes, it's it stuck with me for a while. We're also, <laughs> I'm sorry, Megan. We're also going to try the Sephora Spice Market Blush Palette. This is what that looks like. And I have a cloth here. I'm going to do swatches. They don't have numbers. They don't have names. But it does say, turn up the heat with this spice collection of six warm blush shades, universally flattering colors, and both matte and shimmer finishes suit every skin tone from light to deep. Soft pigmented formula blends seamlessly into skin for a subtle or fiery flush. Okay, first of all, well, as I said 
<laughs> yesterday, which was a few seconds ago. I did have this before and I liked it. I do have an issue though when they say something is universal because everyone is not going to be able to wear every shade and it look nice on them. But there is something in here for everybody and for the price, yeah, go ahead and get it. Even if you only think you can use three shades, go ahead and get it because the price is, is really good. So your swatches, I'm going to start, I'll take this plastic out. We're going to start from here and come here and then here and across. So that's that deep dark shade. <laughs> that's the orange one in the middle. And this is that rose tone in the corner. So this is this one. These are smooth. So these are the shades, the top row. That's the top row right there. And this is the bottom row. So what are we gonna put on? I am going to take, I'm gonna take this orange first, this one, and we're gonna use that as a blush. This is a Real Techniques <laughs> Instapop cheek brush. So we're using a cheek brush for blush. I like that. This brush is feeling pokey. Is it dying on me? I had it for a while. Look at that, that's nice. That's nice. I do need to do some blending over here, but this is a nice shade. See that? And I did put a lot on the brush. See, that would have been perfect. But you know me, I'm heavy handed. Us trolls got heavy hands. But look at this. This is nice. Thanks, Megan. And the shapes are never the same. I was going to say shame. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sleepy. Yesterday, I'm not going to get into it. Okay. Look at that. Mm. All right, we're going to put that brush down. We're going to take a Scott Barnes Travel Powder Brush. And we're going to go into this deepest shade and see what that does as a contour. And I just tapped in, flipped over, tapped in. Yo, these are uh, pigmented. So I'm going to just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Flip it over. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I'm going to tap off again. And I'm going to use the tip of the brush instead of the sides where the color is I'm going to use the tip of the brush and just blend that and feather it upward still with the just the tip of the brush blending straight down and blending upward tap 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 on that side of the brush tap 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 on that side of the brush tip of the brush back and forth and upward that is nice that's nice. Mmm. She cute. She a cute troll. We're going to take this brush. This is an e.l.f. Uh, I want to say, yeah. The e.l.f. Putty Blush brush. And we're going to take this shade, which this one right here. We're going to try it as a highlight. Swipe once. Turn it over. Swipe twice. Tap off. Flip it over. And then go back and forth. This is not as bad as I thought. Not that I thought it was going to be bad. Down here I can't see it at all. But up here I can see a little bit. And I do like a subtle highlight. Yeah, I can see that. I like that. So I'm going to swipe one side, flip it. Swipe the other side, flip it. Tap, tap, tap. Flip over. Tap, tap, tap. And then go back and forth. And that's going to be our highlight. So we see how that looks. That's nice, right? Yeah, she cute. So I'm going to take another brush. We're going to take this brush. This is a, this is a Sephora number 47. And we are going to take, just to see what it do, so far we've used this one, this one, and this one. So right now we're going to take 
this shade just because we can and we're going to use that as our blush so we're going to layer so that's that and we're just actually we just want to tap right here towards the back oh and because i did this first on the other side we're going to put that there and then come towards the back Ooh, and we're going to just sweep that down to blend it oh y'all these colors i like this this look means i like it And I like that gradient and color from here to here and also where I did the contour and I'm liking the highlight too. I'm going to take another brush. This is Scott Barnes Travel Highlighter Brush. And we're going to take this one and use this as a highlighter. So we're going to layer this over the other one. I swiped twice, flipped over and swiped twice again. I like this as a highlight. Oh, look at this. I like this. Look at that. Nice and natural, subtle. It's not accentuating. You know, my texture is not making me look hairier than I am or hairier than I thought I was not. So we've used everything in here except for this one. So do we want to do that? Might as well, right? Use everything in here. I need, I really don't have another blush brush. So we're just going to take this Fenty number 170 setting brush. And we're just going to tap into this one here in the corner. Tap off. And we're just going to pop that right here. Ooh, that has a sheen to it. Pop that right there. Oh, that's nice. So as you can see, you can mix and match. You can layer. And I think this whole thing looks nice. The side of the brush that had nothing on it. Just blending all of that together. Buffing all that together. So you saw blush, contour, highlight. And then you saw me layer as a blush, as a highlight. And then as a blush on the apples of my cheeks. So you can use one or two or three and then add the other three or just mix and match because how I did blush, contour, highlight, I could have also did blush, mm, well blush, slight contour just here and use this as a highlight. I could have did that as well because this is, this did show up on me dark. That's this one right here on top of the other one. So we're going to move along. I should have turned my heat down because it's on 76 and I feel like I'm about to get hot. We're going to try now the nude sticks. So I'm taking them out of the tin. I did take them out of their plastic packaging last night and put my labels on them because y'all know I label when I open stuff or when it says it expires. This doesn't have a date of when it expires and so sorry for that glare. And so on the back I put when I opened it open to 2022 these are good for 24 months and because these are the mini ones i'm pretty sure i will go through these <laughs> within 24 months but i did put labels on here so we're going to swatch these and i was looking at these this seems to be a cool toned version of this one this is hot stone i forgot i had this on the back of my hand that's why i don't oh that's why i do swatches last i did swatches the other day and I have um, a curtain between this area and my kitchen. And I had this swatches on my arm for Instagram. And I had forgot. And when I went to go into the kitchen, I went like this to move the curtain. I was like, damn it. So yeah, I had to take it down and wash it because it had swatches all over it. And that's why I don't like using my hands for makeup because I'll forget and be touching stuff and then everything will be messy. Let me keep going. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I can smell it. So hot stuff. <laughs> This is hot stone. I don't, I'm not good at describing colors, so I don't know, except to say it's gray based. That's all I know to say about that. <laughs> this one is O exclamation point Bergine. That's this one. This one feels really creamy. 
Let me back up. Did the first one feel creamy? Like what? Let me see. Yeah, it did. I don't know why I didn't notice it. You know why? Because I was trying to figure out the color of it. This one, shady algae black. And this is what that looks like. Blue? It makes sense that it's blue because algae is like a blue green or something, right? But looking at this, well, I guess, yeah. To me, this looks like a slate gray. But this, to me, looks blue. I told you I have problems with color perception. Now you see. Now, now you see what I got to go through. Well, not what I got to go through, but welcome to my world. <laughs> Thinking something's one color and then it's not. So I am glad I did swatch them. Oh, that's going to look nice because I have a look that I need to do later. All right, we're going to prime. I don't have any brushes, anything out. We're going to prime our eye. I'm going to edit this out. I'm going to prime my eye and then blend out the primer. I have never used... Um, any type of sticks like this before not that I remember so we're going to start with I was going to say that one but I wiped it off with hot stone and we're going to I already feel awkward and I'm sure you can take a brush and swipe it and put it on your eye that way too why do my lids feel um sensitive and yes we're going to use all three of these because this is the try on I will write somewhere here like on the website what it says these can be used for or how you can use them We want to take a brush. I have nothing out. I'm so not prepared. We just want to take this brush and we're just going to blend that out. It's dry already. This side is not moving. Um, I didn't expect that. But I mean, but it's good. I just know I need to do that blended out really nice, like hardly barely there. Uh I'm only putting more on so I can try and blend it. <laughs> yeah, work quick with these. And it may be because the Fenty primer is a tacky primer, so maybe that's just locking it in where I put it. Uh I don't know. It's blending uh, I wanna say it's blending out nice, but like, look, it's just, like, stuck. Like, I'm really putting pressure. Wow. And you can also blend these out with your finger. But, as I said earlier, I don't use my fingers for makeup. I laugh when I look back at my earlier videos from, like, two years ago when I restarted my channel. And I was using my, my, hand, my fingers to do it face primer and I'm just like oh no girl <laughs> some of them videos are so busted and I leave them up because that's real life and it shows progression and shows how my skill level either improved or didn't improve <laughs> and so I'm like I'm gonna leave them up there because as I often say everything is not always perfect everything is not always good and you know when you first start something even though it was a restart from like 10 years ago or whatever whenever that was even though it was a restart, starting over, you know, there is a learning curve still. So that's that one. We're going to take, do I want to take the blue? No, I'm going to take uh, the one I think is brown. Aubergine. I kind of want to put this on a brush and apply it that way, thinking maybe it won't dry faster than I can get to it. I'm going to use the same brush and we're going to go this way because I want that inside to be blended. Oh, wow, this stuff dries quick. This might be good for just all over the lid as a base or as a shadow. This is dry. This, this part right here is not wanting to move. Like I am really, my lids are not going to be happy with me. 
the pressure I'm putting on it. And I have all this extra skin up here, which isn't helping either. I am like really pressing hard. Like, look at this. I'm moving like all of my skin. Well, not all of my skin, but. Wow, we are having snow flurries today. My cousin told me yesterday, did you know it's supposed to snow? And I'm like, no, I didn't know that. And it was like 50 something degrees yesterday. And today it's back down to like, earlier I think it was around like mm, 29, now it's about 33. I think these either all over the eye with your finger or a sponge tip applicator. And just put it all over your eye as a base. Cause this stuff dries quick and even though i'm getting to it to blend it quicker as you see i'm putting it on and using the brush right away like it's still not allowing me the blend that i want like over here and this is what try-ons are for just to see i am not able to get this dark right there then that'll be what we're working with you know what i'm gonna try I'm turning this around on the brush because I just want to see. It gives it a lighter wash, that's for sure. But it's still drying like this as fast. <gasps> yeah, so I don't know if you could use it this way effectively because I am using it this way, but it's still... It dries really fast, which is good. And I do think it's supposed to be waterproof too. Wow. You know what? I do think I'm going to like these. It's In a way, it's easier. I don't know. I, I was going to say in a way, it's easier than like the paint pots. But in a way, sorry for smacking, I think it's comparable. Because when those dry, they dry too. But with this one, it seems to be less patchy. And maybe because I'm swiping it on like that, like I just did. And that could probably be an, another experiment for another day. Just comparing how they apply. Like how I did the work set against the MAC paint pots. But I do um, like these. And they do have these in different colors. So I can say already I do like these. I do. And it's not. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel tacky but it does feel like it'll hold whatever i put on top of it whatever shadow i put on top of it which will be great because i'm gonna do a look later see this i need to match this up oh, and then if you mess up wherever it is is where it's gonna be <laughs> that's not oh too too bad Oh, mm, mm, mm. trying to make it right and made it worse. And you know, because I have all this skin, so it's hard to just go straight across without it skipping because my skin moves. This is very smooth though. I think I'm gonna leave this like this. I have a Zoom meeting in like 10 minutes. And so I don't want to look too cray cray. And I could always just wear my glasses to hide my eyes, too. I do enjoy using this, though, because as you see, it's easy to put on. It's just rushing to, <laughs> to blend it out and to get it to look even. I do like this. So thank you, Pam Marie, for mentioning these. And thank you, Megan, for sending these to me. As part of our collab, our friend miss in February, friend mail gift exchange. I'm not editing any of this part out because I want you to see, I don't want to say the struggle, but to see the process. And also you will have to put something up here because this is not blending out. And as you can see, the lines do look really harsh. And this, I was not able to... <laughs> get this to deepen up so that wouldn't look harsh in that outer corner did i just do it though 
So if you're doing a look with these other than just on your lid, you see the process that you're going to have to go through to get it even, to get the coloring even and blend it. But then you still have this harsh line to deal with up here. And now I have like a, that's not too, I think I got it. Okay, let me leave it alone. Okay, all right. I like this, I do. We're gonna take the blue. I don't know why I always be like blue. <laughs> and we're gonna use this on our lower lash, lash line. It does say these are good also for your waterline. Dare I try it? Dare I? This feels really nice. But my question is, is after this wears down, and it does come with a sharpener, which is nice too. But will I be able to, looking for a smudger brush. We're going to, now we're going to use a Makeup Forever smudger brush. And I do not like pulling my eyes, but because this dries so fast. And because I have loose skin and everything moves, that's why I'm holding the corner. Did it smudge? Oh, it did smudge. That looks nice. That looks really nice. I, I'm i really liking these. I think this is the last thing for the try on. I like, I like that. Uh-oh. Feels like my eye is burning. It's getting glassy. Oh, hell. I used to always have problems with waterproof liners because they dry out my skin, which makes my eyes feel dry, which then makes my eyes tear. And I'm hoping that's not the case, but I kind of think that's what's happening because I was fine until I smudged this out and then my eyes started tingling. These do not have a scent, which is awesome. So I'll see if my eyes calm down. Because of that, I'm not gonna put this on my waterline today. But what I could do is smudge it more into my lash line. But you know what I could do? I have the um, Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury, her eyeliner. Okay, I'm really liking this. So we're gonna open, where'd she go? We're gonna put on the, um, <laughs> this is so not blended, but that's okay. We are going to take the Pillow Talk eyeliner. I'm not gonna open the mascara yet because I still have the small one of this, which I do know that I really like. And it's a pencil liner. <sighs> that's that color, what? What does it say? And this is good for 24 months. What color is it? We'll talk eyeliner, blend up on long lasting. That's what it says. I'm looking on the back of the box. The mascara is good for, no. Mascara is good for six months. This is good for 24 months, the liner. I'm not seeing a color. Made in Germany. Um, I don't know what color this is. Well, we're going to apply it. Might not be able to see it because of what we already have on our lid. I typically don't use pencils for up top, but I'm not going to put it at the bottom because we already have something there. This is going on really smooth, which is nice. Um, I can see it. It's a little more red than what's already on my lid. I'm trying to make it thick so you can see the color. Nice monochromatic look going on. 
unblended, but that's okay because we want to cover it up later. So after my Zoom call, I'll come back and do a look. Or I might just put that off for another day because I need a nap. I'm just really tired. I feel like I always say I'm tired. I do like how this goes on. My eyes do feel like they're calming down. They still feel like they're burning a little bit. But this is what we have. This is the try on. Um, Megan, again, thank you. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have the Charlotte Tilbury, almost dropped it, eye pencil and the mascara, let me know what you think about that. If you have the nude stick set, I believe it's the romantic set that came in this tin, these three shades. Let me know what you think about those. Let me know how they work. Ooh. I want the wipe off look. That eyeliner, you hear it, right? You hear me scrubbing my skin. Look at that. There is a little bit on here. You hear it? I am like scrubbing my skin. Look at that eyeliner. What the hell kind of sorcery? That's some good stuff. Um, <laughs> and if you have the Sephora Spice Market blush palette, let me know what you think about that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with Megan and I for Friendless in February. It was a hell of a lot of videos. And so I do appreciate you hanging with us for this month. Do check her out as usual. Her info is below. And you will see me in another video.